AutoDS Shopify dropshipping tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about Shopify and how you can use it as your very own e-commerce store where you use and sell drop shipped products. Okay. Now Shopify is one of the most used e-commerce ventures out there and mostly because of its ease of use shopping. Okay. And it's ease of use drop ship products. Okay. The best drop shipping platforms out there include Shopify. Okay. And tons and tons of people use Shopify for their drop shipping because of how many drop shipping apps it allows you to integrate it with. Now, personally, I will go ahead, create an account and show you how you can actually set yourself up with these certain applications. And obviously the application for day is auto DS. Okay. Which is basically auto drop shipping. So what we're going to be doing to start things off is we're going to go ahead to our Shopify and click on start free trial. Now I'm also going to be using a temp mail for myself, which I'm going to talk about further on. So, you know, just a disclaimer. Now it's gonna say, let's get started, which one of these best describes you? Are you just starting or are you selling online or in person? I'm gonna go with I'm just starting because that's how most dropshippers start. Now it says, where would you like to sell? Now here is where you're gonna to want to pick your medium. This is where you're gonna to want to pick, you know, what's your actual selling venture? What's your actual selling standpoint? Where is your physical sales on point? So I'm gonna go with online store you know, because that is where I basically want to sell. So once we go through with that, I'm going to click on next. And here it says, what do you plan to sell first? Pick what you want to start with will help you stock your store. Now in this, obviously for us, it's going to be drop shipping products, but you can go with other choices as well. That obviously depends on you. Once we've done that, we're going to click on next. And here it says, where will your business be located? I'm going to stay on my country and click on next. Now, once we click on next here, it says create a Shopify account. I'm going to go ahead and click on sign up with the email. And once we do that here, we're going to use our temp mail. Now I'm only using a temp mail because I'm showing an example to you on how to do it. This is not my actual account. Okay. I'm not going to be using this account forever. So if it's the same with you, if you're testing Shopify out and you're not going to be using that account forever, then I would definitely recommend going with this step. But if that is not the case, do not go through with this step. All right. Now, once we do that, we're going to go ahead and add our email over here. Once we do that, we're going to add our password. There we go. Once we've added our password, we're going to click on create Shopify account. And once we click on create Shopify account, as you can see, it takes us through building our store. Okay. And it shouldn't take a lot of time. Uh, it should definitely be done in a jiffy. It shouldn't, uh, you know, make you wait too much. So once it's done with all of that, it's going to bring us to our main dashboard, which is basically our main store. Now over here, if you want to go ahead and get yourself started with auto DS straight away, what we're going to do is first of all, you're going to come over to products and you're going to see that, you know, we don't have any products because we haven't stocked our store. So for that, we're going to go over to add applications. Once you go to add applications, we're going to go to Shopify app store. And basically on our Shopify app store is where we're going to find auto DS. So as you can see, we can also find it over here, but you know, you can pretty much search it as well. So, you know, here we have auto DS right there and then, and once you go over to auto DS, come over here, auto DS, us drop shipping and POD. Now, once we go through with that, we're going to click on install. And once we click on install, we're going to wait for it to load in. And here we are where it's going to give us our point of sales. We're going to click on install on auto DS and we're simply going to wait for it to load up. Now, once auto DS has properly loaded up for you, what's going to happen is that basically auto DS is going to give you the proper drop shipping and POD. Okay. So we're going to wait for things to load in. And once the, you know, proper settings have loaded in for our auto DS, as you can clearly see in front of you, what we're going to do from there is basically you can choose products off of uh, the different stores and you can choose products off up to different uh, places that you have. Now over here, it says, you know, if you want to start now for free, you can do that. But the main plans are if you want to import 200 products, it's 19.9 per month. If you want to go with 500 products per month, it's 29.9 per month. And if you want to go with advanced 1000 products per month, then 49.9 is your plan. So, you know, you can go with any one of these if you want to. I'm obviously going to go with the most basic start off. So once we're over here, it's going to give us the summary and everything. I'm going to click on continue. And once we click on continue, it's going to bring us to the payment central. 
Now in the Payment Central, what it's going to do is it's going to give you two options, either credit card or debit card, or you can even add your PayPal. Now what I'm personally going to be doing is basically I'm going to go ahead and uh, add my card details. And once I've done that, we're going to go ahead and start seeing how AutoDS works and how we're going to use it for ourselves. Okay. Now, once we've, you know, basically verified everything and signed ourselves up with this, this is basically how AutoDS is going to load up for us. Okay. Now over here, as we scroll down, it's going to give us these things. So you can choose where this product ships to. Okay. You can change the currency for it. Ships from. Now, this is also something you can choose. Price range is also choosable. And you can also select your supplier. Okay. You can select uh, AutoDS. You can go off with AliExpress products, Amazon products. We have different Alibaba products, Walmart, Sheen, Costco, Costway, etc. So let's say I want to change over to Sheen. Okay. I'm basically looking for clothes. So we have all these Sheen products. Okay. Um, let's say I want to go with this shirt. Okay. I want to drop ship this shirt. So what we are going to do is you're going to basically click on import draft. Okay. And, uh, let's go ahead and draft a few more. So let's say I'm going to import this one. Um, let's go with a few more. Let's go with this hoodie. Okay. Import that. Then we're also going to go with this shirt over here. There we go. And let's go with this shirt. Okay. So we're simply going to go with these products for ourselves. Okay. Now, once you've imported your drafts, you're going to go ahead and click on view and drafts. Okay. Because this will basically lead you over to your auto DS drafts. Now, currently, as you can see, it asks us to go ahead and log in. Okay. Now, in the case it does ask you to do that, you're basically going to add your Shopify details, okay? Because that is what we've already created an account with. If you do go ahead and create a new account, it's going to ask you to, you know, go ahead and, you know, sign up and get new pricings and plans, etc. So if you want to do it straight from your Shopify, just click on access the DS platform like I did over here. And now what we are going to do is you're going to go ahead and check your drafts, basically. Now, here's our drafts. And basically, if you've added any products, they're going to appear over here. So, you know, let's say you want to go ahead and add single products, um, supplier source, you could go with the, any of these. Let's say I want it to be an AliExpress. Okay. So if we have this AliExpress product, you can go over at to a new tab. We're going to open up AliExpress. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open up AliExpress over here. And once we do that, you know, you can choose any product off of this place. So let's say I want to go with this humidifier. I'm going to open up the humidifier menu. I'm going to choose this humidifier. And once you've chosen this, I'm going to go ahead and copy off its link. That's a pretty cheap humidifier. It's, you know, coming in for a good price. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste the URL. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on publish to store. And there you go. As you can see, it says item is now being added to your store. So pretty incredible, right? You just go ahead to any store, you add a URL. And once you add the URL, basically that product is going to go straight over to your store. And, you know, as you can see, it's still in progress. So you can go ahead and view the details on how much it's going to take. So the status is still in progress. If there is any error with the product, it will go straight to the failed section. But that is pretty unlikely because mostly it does go to the successful section. So just wait for it to load in. And once things have loaded and once things have progressed properly, you know, you're pretty much set to go. You're pretty much good to go. And uh, once, you know, the progress is done, the progress is completed. Basically here in your products, if you go ahead and reload this page, if you renew the page, you're going to see your product is going to be added into this section. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Okay. So yeah, that is pretty much all there is when it comes to, you know, auto DS and how you can connect it to your Shopify in the easiest and most simplest way. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. And I will be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great and incredible day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.